Over the years, we saw year numbers in graduation merchandise when a student graduates from high school or from college. Who has the right to declare that high schools or colleges are the crowned jewels to society because of the frequency of the words high school or of the word college? But to me, those year numbers of graduation are irrelevant. And to me, those year numbers of graduation should be irrelevant. And to me, making graduation merchandise with year numbers is a waste of time and of money, thanks to the clearance department. And graduation is not New Year's Eve. And graduation is not New Year's Day. Graduation is like a wedding from heck when a student slave is forced to be married to an evil society with its ridiculous laws. And why do I want to say I do to that? Why do I want to accept a diploma and to accept honors from educators who bullied me with ridiculous school rules since I was welcomed in school with educators' ridiculous rules. Good people can become bad people. I do not accept the high school diploma because of the curriculum that I do not like during my high school years and because of the presence of police officers during my high school years. I can prove that education is a criminal act that educators set up conspiracies of hopelessness on the students on purpose so that educators and other human authorities can get all the honor forever regardless of the educators slash enforcers bullying. According to my science fiction, educators punish students on purpose as a sacrifice so educators can gain more strength in order to go to heaven. And according to my science fiction, it is a war between the students and the educators. The truth is that educators hate the students anyway. After all, there is law in education and according to the orthodoxy, law trumps any subject in school because of abiding by educators' rules by force because the law is always right. The first charge against educators and against education is forcing people to participate in the National Pledge of Allegiance anti-war in the National Anthem. I remembered the horrible experience that I have been forced to participate in the National Pledge of Allegiance and to participate in the National Anthem. I do not believe that there is freedom in the United States for pawns, but there is such thing as freedom for bullish superiors because the flag of the United States represents law. You can see U.S. flags on law enforcement vehicles, on law enforcement uniforms, inside law enforcement headquarters, outside of 
law enforcement headquarters, inside courthouses, outside of courthouses, inside schools, and outside of detention centers, slash jails, slash prisons, slash schools. And because superiors are always right with everything by using force. And because superiors have 100% of the freedom. Because superiors have too much power, pawns cannot seize every day. Superiors are not the true God because superiors are sinners like every human and like me. Romans chapter 3 verses 10 to 12 and 23. Let us truthfully change the words of the U.S. Pledge of Allegiance from indivisible with liberty and with justice for all to divisible with liberty and with justice for some because the truth is that United States is divided one pair of division is law abounding people and freedom fighters and another pair of division is superiors and inferiors. And that some people in the United States did not get any justice for their right actions. Let us truthfully change the words of the U.S. National Anthem from the land of the free and the home of the brave to the land of the semi-free and the home of the semi-lucky. Because the truth is that some people in the United States are free, like superiors, and that some people in the United States are not free like juveniles because of age limitations and because of permission from the juveniles parents slash guardians and because the truth is that some people receive lucky positive outcomes when they are brave and slash or civil and that some people receive unlucky negative outcomes when they are brave and slash or civil. I am one of those people who receive whammies after being civilly brave by going against the orthodoxy by speaking up about what is wrong to the public and because the truth is that not everybody in the United States is a somebody according to U.S. superiors. I am not offended by the words under God because God is a necessity. But I am offended by the bullish actions of superiors with their ridiculous laws, with their hypocrisy, with their lying about their mission 
statements with their conspiracies of denying permission on purpose, with their conspiracies of character-building lessons that rip off pawns, with their conspiracies of destroying the innocent dreams of newcomers on purpose, and with their attitude of seniority and of pride. Superiors are not honest to inferiors, and superiors care about money and about power more than about the inferiors. Why do we have to respect the commands from superiors that lead us to our self-destruction? We are tired of playing legal games and of legal bullying. We spoil superiors too much and superiors madly use force when things do not go their way. There are reasons why you should never be friends with government officials in your homeland because government officials in your homeland can kill people mentally or physically by enforcing ridiculous laws of the homeland by disagreement and by telling what is wrong and why government officials betray their own people. Government officials think that they are always right with everything so they can get permanent credit and God's permanent blessing by being selfish because they are in a higher position, seniority. According to Syndrome from The Incredibles 1, you cannot count on anybody, including your heroes. If good community slash communities shuts me down slash shut me down on purpose, whom should I trust to gain assets? A shunned person would say, I have no community. After community leaders shun a shunned person. The truth is that some people fail from the start by no luck because of the planned conspiracies by superiors. Worshipping the U.S. flag is an example of idolatry and God hates idolatry. We only worship our one true God who gives us heavenly citizenship, not citizenship from any country on earth. Philippians chapter 3 verse 20. And our true Lord and our true Savior is Jesus. 
not community leaders. Those are my reasonable reasons on why I do not participate in the National Pledge of Allegiance and in the National Anthem. And you can too. And kudos to some people who did not participate in the National Pledge of Allegiance and slash or in the National Anthem. I am sorry, but I cannot take the legal pressure of the orthodoxy of the material world. And we do not want bad vibes. Part two will continue next time.